an ACARA prosecutor launched a probe on February 20, based on two pro-government newspapers' claims that the Republican People's Party, CHP, and the Fethala Gyul community were jointly plotting an assassination of Sumaya Erdua, the daughter of President Recep Tayyip Erdua. The daily newspapers Aksum and Star made this claim in their third consecutive day of publishing secret alleged correspondence between Deputy CHP leader Yuma Taran and Imre Aslu, a former police officer and claimed to be behind the social media account Fiat Avi, a notorious whistleblower. Yuma Taran has categorically denied news reports for the last three days that he was exchanging messages with Aslu through Twitter's DM service as well as claims that he was conspiring against the government with the Gyul community. Furthermore, CHP head Kamal Kaldarolu has described the claims as utter nonsense, accusing the National Intelligence Organization, MT, of being behind the plot. Kaldarolu first made similar claims in an interview with the Harriet Daily News on November 21, 2014. Describing the MT as the ruling Justice and Development Parties, AKP, Deep State, the CHP had said the following, We know that a group within MT, led by one of the deputy undersecretaries, is tasked with dealing solely with the CHP. He's tasked with, stirring trouble inside the party and other parties. He added that they had information about new intrigues that would be closely followed. Special attention must be paid to media campaigns. No one should fall into this plot, particularly our deputies with nationalist leanings. This campaign against the CHP is being carried out with the knowledge of the MIT chief and in an institutional manner, Kaldarolu also said. CHP spokesperson Hayluck KOC said they had identified a team inside the MT composed of four persons two from its strategic analysis unit and two from its counterintelligence unit. It is interesting to observe that the documents printed by Aksum and Star appeared on the very days that a Turkish court ruled that documents submitted by the police five years ago in the highly controversial Sledgehammer, Balyounce case were fully fabricated. At a time when trust in the judicial process in Turkey in such important cases has almost vanished because of fake evidence, the main opposition's argument that this latest plot is being orchestrated by the MT is gaining weight. The resignation of former MT Uda Secretary Harker Fider to run for parliament from the ranks of the AKP is adding to the opposition's claims that Turkey's most important strategic institution has already been politicized. Fider will be the first MT chief to leave the job to join active politics. The media campaign against the CHP is not the only eyebrow-raising development. The government's insistence on the security bill, at the expense of turning the General Assembly into a fight club, and its current shelving of the Kurdish peace process, is also worth analysing. Of course, fueling the already tense political climate through this controversial security bill must have an objective, particularly on the eve of one of Turkey's most critical elections. This is obviously Erdogan's strategy polarize the country through daily, strongly worded statements, create new divisions and fault lines within society based on religion and conservative values, explore new ways to exploit people's religious faith, fabricate assassination plots, etc., push an us versus them rhetoric in a blunter way, and so on. Having already started the election campaign, Erdua is likely boost this discourse further at the expense of creating unrepairable fractures among the Turkish people.